Hi, I'm Cheryl Drake Bowers, and welcome to the Frequently Asked Questions video for people who are interested in becoming new clients in our practice. Um, I'm going to give you general information about what sort of services we offer, which you can also find uh, in the website, and then a little bit about what the process is for trying to schedule. So I am certified in advanced myofascial techniques through an organization called advanced-trainings.com. I'm also a certified scar work therapist with Sharon Wheeler and wheelerfascialwork.com. And those are very particular types of work. I'm not a traditional massage therapist. So if you're thinking about something like that that you may have encountered in a spa or even in a traditional setting with a private therapist, you will find this work to be uh, quite unique from that. And you can see videos of me treating people on the YouTube channel, on my Instagram page. It might give you a better idea of what an office appointment and hands-on work looks like and feels like. So um, in addition to those two modalities, I have some training and a type of cranial decompression techniques that are based on the principles of cranial osteopathy. Uh, many decades ago, I was certified uh, neuromuscular therapist with Paul St. John, um, and that was a very defining uh, training, which allows me to be extremely detailed in my palpation. Um, in addition to those modalities, which I rely very heavily on in treating clients, um, I am a movement intelligence teacher trained in the work of the Feldenkrais Method work of Ruthie Alon called Bones for Life. And this is, uh, movement intelligence is a big umbrella of work, most of which, um, there are various trainings under that umbrella, most of which re relate back to the work of Moshe Feldenkrais. And I do group classes on movement intelligence. These are um, very particular types of movements. It's not exercise, it's not a core strengthening, it's not stretching, it's movement. And it is working with the principles of neuroplasticity, using varied and subtle movements to change the nervous system. And uh, that work is available in a class format. There are usually classes offered online. Uh, the foundation work of um, WAVE and AXIS is where everyone sort of begins. And so those classes are offered online from time to time and in person. You can request a class for your group. You can request a private one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, you may be coming to the practice just for that. Or you might receive hands-on body work for a time and then do some movement intelligence work so that you have some skills to maintain the improvement that you've received from the hands-on work. I'm also uh, certified in the Vodder method of manual lymphatic drainage with closed trainings. And usually in my practice, I'll use manual lymphatic drainage for the purpose of um, treating someone who's come to see me post-surgically so I can see someone very quickly after surgery, depending on if there are any special complications, but sometimes very quick, quickly within a couple days for the manual lymphatic drainage and a very light sort of peripheral uh, fascial scar work. So that's a conversation after a consultation, but um, those are skills that I use as needed in my practice. I have many years of experience treating a lot of specific problems, in um, particular and, and a problem that people run into a lot is temporomandibular joint problems, mouth and jaw pain. This can be from surgery, post-surgeries or unknown reasons, tension, um, grinding, all kinds of stuff can cause difficulties here. So I treat that hands-on work done in, inside and outside the mouth looking at the neck, looking at the whole body relationship to any problems that have developed in the temporomandibular joint. And I can also offer a movement intelligence work for the mouth and jaw. I have a special training in treating headaches and migraines and cervicogenic headaches, as well as traditional migraines, cluster headaches, and at times can offer acute care for like ongoing headaches. So someone might, client in my practice might text me and say, I have a migraine right now. Medication is not touching it. You know, can you see me? And so there's some availability in the practice for work like that if you're already a client. I have experience um, treating hospice patients. I'm a hospice volunteer for hospice and palliative care of the Charlotte region. 
And so treating people at the end of life, uh, also uh, have had some experience uh, treating pe working with people during the birthing process. In general, you'll see on the website when people come in for the first appointment, there's uh, after the consultation, after we've done the virtual consultation, first appointment, people come in, you're not undressed, like people often think of traditional massage therapy where you're undressed, lying on a table. Uh, clients wear some manner of clothing, you know, shorts, tank tops, camis, things like that. And um, you might get to lie down for the whole session, but you might also be um, receiving work while seated or standing. You know, we may do some movement and then come back to the hands-on. Sort of reassessing as we're going along is what we're doing, addressing your complaint. Are we starting to see change? In order to get started, the very first thing that everyone has to do, regardless of whatever reason you may have come to the practice, is to go to the website on the scheduling page and schedule the new client virtual consultation. This is a 30, 40 minute appointment that's done online through a link on the website and um, we'll go over all the reasons that you've come to see me. Um, what type of work is appropriate for you, your health history, your goals for treatment, what you want to see happen in that first appointment. And generally what I tell everyone is that um, you do the consultation, we have the first treatment appointment, and it's usually very self-evident to you uh, that the work that I offer is unique and something that you want to continue with, or in very difficult situations, it might take three appointments for you to be sure about that, but for most people, that's a very quick, oh, okay, this is what I needed. And it's an out-of-pocket expense, insurance does not pay for the type of work that I do, so, it's in your interest and my interest to find that out as quickly as possible. And I do think that even in the most difficult situations where people have had a lot of trauma or accident has occurred, that you can get clarity about that in three treatments. At this time in 2022, summer 2022, um, I have an unusual practice in that I work um, sometimes uh, multiple days of the week, like on the weekends and the evenings. Um, as well as having a daytime schedule that's a revolving schedule. And right now, I have no daytime appointments available unless you wanna go on a cancellation list, which is not a quick wait, but I have no daytime appointments available usually for two to three months out. So there's no way to enter the practice quickly and get a daytime appointment. On the other hand, if you can come in the evenings at seven or on Saturdays and Sundays, I may be able to see you as soon as 24, 48 hours, maximum two week wait for an appointment like that. Those appointments are an additional charge. So you can look on the website under acute care appointments and see if that's something that you're needing or if you wanna schedule the consultation and then just book further out. I hope this quick overview of scheduling gives you a little bit to think about and covers some of the basic questions that people have when they reach out to me. And if you have any further questions, you can text me or email me. Texting is the quickest, but um, you can text me, email me, or leave me a voice message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.